If you are unfamiliar with the topic, there are two type of libraries, static library and dynamic library, AKO shared library. While static library are called at compile time and they are copied into the target application, which increase the size of your executable, dynamic libraries are loaded and binded to the program at runtime and hence much smaller size, though compatibility issues can occur when there is a mismatch between the version of the library and source code. But this video is not a debate on which one is better. My focus in this video is to create a shared library as a .so file on Linux and use it for my C program. If you are on Windows, you might be interested in DLL or Dilib for Mac OS instead. Here is the file structure of my sample project. My source file is in the SRC folder and the source code file of my library is in the lib folder. The objective is to run main.c with the function plus provided by the library as a SO file. The first step is to create an object file by compile the library source file with the FPIC flag. It stands for Position Independent Code, which means that the generated machine code should work regardless of its location. Then we create our SO file with a shared flag. The file is called libplus.so. Your file name should have the word lib in the beginning, followed by its functionality. Now we just have to tell GCC to find our library with our path. We need both the flag uppercase L and the R path flag here to specify the location of our library file. The lowercase flag has the name of your library. You might notice it is plus and not lib plus. This is because by default GCC assumes that the library file always start with lib, just like how I mentioned earlier. By now we are done, and as you can see the program run as intended. I might also add that you can also use LD library path for this purpose, but it is actually a risky practice. You might want to try out DL open library instead. I have left links for reference in the description, which also contains the guide that this video was based on. Thanks for watching, and I hope I can be of help.